Yo, it's your boy Bok Joe coming back with another video. Hey, today we got a long awaited video. You know what I'm saying? We got the big guard dribble tutorial for y'all. I'm finally dropping this shit. It's supposed to been dropped it, but, um, you know, work and life getting in the way of certain shit. But, you know, I was still gonna drop it regardless. But, you know what I'm saying? Today, we got six five, really, really, really six eight, Re really six eight and up. Big guard, tall guard, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna teach y'all how to dribble. But give y'all like some basic moves. They're not really basic. They're not all that basic. They, they like good moves to get open. The basic shit you would need to get open, but you probably wouldn't see. You won't see main like a lot of guards doing it, cause a lot of guards most of the time. They just do stop and go and shit. No, nobody knows how to use their fucking right stick anymore. They just move the left stick around. I'm so good, you know. But I'm gonna teach y'all how to actually use the fucking right stick as a big guard. And yes, this is a six eight. I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm gonna teach y'all how to use your moves on a big guard. Give y'all some easy moves, moves that don't even need that much stamina. Know what I'm saying easily get open, you can use them in one, twos, threes, anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm gonna teach y'all probably like 15 moves 14, 15. Try to do 15. Yeah, I, I won't have a um, what's it called? What's that thing? The um, the thing that shows up the, the controller cam. Yeah, I won't have I don't I don't have that yet. I got a PC and shit. I need to learn how to do that, but yeah, I won't have that for this video, but this video won't be, I won't make it that hard. I, I know how to explain shit that good, really good, so. Yeah, fuck all the talking, you know what I'm saying? Giveaway at 600 subs. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? We going up. I appreciate everybody. Let's get straight into the video, you know what I'm saying? Hey, straight like that. All right, wait. Before we start this video, um, badges don't really mean anything. Um, now with dribbling, I'm gonna show y'all my dribble moves that I use, and these are still the best dribble moves for um six eight and up. I haven't even changed mine. The new dribble moves, um. This shit right here, Jason Tatum and um Zach Levine, that shit ass, both of my ass. Don't waste your time. You know these are the dribble moves I'm gonna be using. Michael Jordan dribble style, signature size up, Tracy McGrady, signature size up, escape, John Wall, moving cross, Russell Westbrook, moving behind the back, Allen Iverson, moving spin, basic, moving hezzy, basic, moving step back, Luca, triple threat, Michael. You know what I'm saying that's basically it. Um, main thing you need is Michael, Russell, Luca. Basically, maybe John Wall. This is this really is on your um your preference, but you know what I'm saying. You want to move? You want to move and dribble like I'm dribbling? Pick that. So them the moves that I use and we're gonna get straight into the real tutorial now you know what I'm saying let's get it alright so this first move I'm gonna teach y'all wait if you don't know how to get into um, this thing that I'm in right now you invite a um, AI friend or whatever and then you go to personal workout put yourself on offense put the AI on defense but first move I'm gonna teach y'all how to do is this right here that move right there see that that little in and out and that move is really effective I know y'all don't really see people doing this move right here people don't even know how to do this move that simple in and out if you, should, if you should spam it it'll give you different animations like that you see can be doing different shit but I'm, um, yeah this is the in and out I'm gonna teach y'all how to do that, and not only you can do that, I'm gonna teach y'all how to use it. 
you know you can you can spin back off of it run up in and out spin back you know what I'm saying you can do it on both sides I'm not that good at doing it on my left side but I'm gonna show you that I, you can do it on your left side see it does work on the left side now you can dribble up uh, cook a nigga uh, boom in and out straight to the rack so that in and out is gonna fuck a nigga up then and out boom you probably gonna think you're gonna Cross or you can uh cross. But how to do the in and out? Alright, you got your right stick, right? You don't have to touch nothing. Don't touch nothing but your right stick. Ball is in the right hand. Flick your right stick up to the right. That's all you gotta do. Flick ball in the right hand, flick your right stick up to the right. Boom. Up to the right. Every time, up to the right, to the left, up to the left. But you know, I'm not that good at it, so. But it's the same thing, up to the left. That was it too. But it gives it gives you different animations. But it's basically gonna give you that the whole time. Then, um, that right there, I just did it too. But while you're running, it's the same thing. You can um, you can hold R2, I think. No, no, you can't. Don't don't hold R2 when you do the move, but. Run, let go R2, boom. Flick up on the flick up right. The ball is in your right hand. Run, let go, boom. Easy. So that's basically the in and out. All you gotta do, in and out. Probably missed, but it's all good. Bronze limitless, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. all right, so this next move right here, I'm gonna go ahead drop this gym for y'all. Not only am I gonna teach y'all how to do the spin back, I'm gonna teach y'all how to spin back into the Luca. I'm not gonna teach y'all how to um, spam it like spin back Luca, spin back Luca. Like I know how to do it multiple times. I probably do that on my advanced tutorial. But I will teach you how to do the spin back into the Luca. You know what I'm saying? Boom. This is me spamming it though. I'm ass. But you get the point. I'm not warmed up, but. Teach you how to do that. Spin back Luca. It works on AIs too, if you think, yeah. Spin back Luca works on AIs. As long as they don't like get that, if the spin makes works, it, it's done. Man, I am, I'm not finna show you, man. You get the point, but. Alright, how you do it? Say the ball is in the right hand. You running, right? Running, holding R2. Boom. Keep, keep your left stick pointed up while you do the spin back. So, boom, you're running. Left stick up, holding R2, you're running, up, Put the ball in the right hand, alright, once you do the spin back, right stick, how to do the spin back, alright, the ball is in your right hand, run, and flick the right stick from 12 to like 3, like do like a small, a small reverse C, but like from 12 to C. I mean, not 12 to C, my bad, 12 to 3. Like, boom, boom, that's all you gotta do. That's the spin back right there. Just do a C, like a backward C. With the, the ball is in the right hand, do a backward C. From all the way at the top to like, to the bottom. You don't really have to go that far, but it's gonna basically get you familiar with the spin back. It's the same thing on the left, but the opposite. Now you do like a regular C, boom. Flick your um, thumb from the left to the, from left down, you know, from like 12 to 9 for the left side. Boom. Every time. So that's the spin back, right? Alright, after you do the spin back, 
after you do the spin back wait once you run up right spin all right you got that part don't don't um don't don't hold don't hold your left stick down while you're doing a spin back or you're probably gonna get that the um the big hop animation that's what some that would uh messes up some people i don't even know how to do that shit like that that's why i'm messing up but run up spin back as soon as you spin back hold your left stick down and flick the right stick down you gotta be fast but at, and then after you hold your left stick down once you see your dude doing the luca run like left because you're doing luca left see look boom spin back hold keep holding it down just keep holding it down you don't have to um don't let go you don't have to um what am i trying to say well don't let go All right boom spin back keep holding down like don't let go you don't have to let go then do it that's what i'm trying to say like you don't have to keep moving your hands off of the button off the left stick once i do the spin back once you do the spin back flick down on the right stick and then hold your left stick like down to the left because you're going you, you're doing that way to the luca you're doing that uh you're doing the luca that way so boom spin back down hold on my bad spin back down boom that's it right there that's all you have to do. spin back and then flick down but keep holding your right stick down why what the f what the fuck is going on oh not down my bad yeah hold your um left stick like down to the left so boom spin back flick down and hold it to the left my bad i wasn't doing it it's hard to fucking explain and do all this at the same time once you do the spin back right Flick down on the right stick and hold your left stick down to the left at the same time. Those two. After the spin back, do both of them at the same time. Boom. Boom. Same way with the right. Same way with the um left side. Left side going to the right. My bad. Spin back. You get a stupid ass game. Spin back. Hold the left stick down to the right and flick down on the right stick. But do both of them together. You really, you really do the right stick a little bit before the um left. Cause you can straight spin back and Luca, but the left stick is what makes you keep going that way with the Luca. Boom. So you can run out that way. See? Easy. Spin back, Luca. All right, next move we got, we got a move called the whoopty. I don't know if um, Steezo made it popular. I don't know. I really don't give a fuck, but I'll teach y'all how to do this whoopty move. What you need for it is that Russell Westbrook crossover. All you have to do, hold R2. You don't have to be moving. Hold R2 and flick up on the right stick. Boom. Boom, that's the Russell Cross. Hold R2, flick up. But, here's the thing. If you do it close, and you fuck up, they will steal the ball. Like, not them even plucking it, like, it will, it will um, like, bounce off their leg or some shit, cause you, you I guess you're basically like dribbling into them, it's like. Like, see that? If you if you just do it, if you just mindlessly do it, you go, it's gonna get stolen. So, but you can use it like that. What I just did to um, you can you can use it if you if you know how to angle it right. See see, cause the ball is in your right hand, and when you do the um when you do the um little whoopy thing, it goes to the left. See. So, if you're right here and you like, if you're like right. If you're like right here, like if I was just a little bit over more to the left, 
and I did that move, I probably would go straight past his body. I might still would. No, I wouldn't. But y'all get the point. But if you do it too close, just mindlessly, it will get stolen like that. But I'm not only gonna teach you that. I'm gonna um, teach you the move I do with the whoopee to not get it uh, stolen. The main reason of me showing you that was for this move, so you don't get it stolen. So all right, boom. After you do this, after you do the whoopee, hold R2, flick up. After you do that, right? Right after you do that, hold your left stick straight down. You don't have to touch nothing else. Hold your left stick straight down. See, you got to do it fast or um, you don't have to do it too fast, but you have to do it fast enough to where the animation actually plays out. Because if you do it too late, it'll just do that. Like, if you do it too late, it's just going to do that shit. But if you do it right, it should look like this. You can do it faster like this, make it tighter, or you can make it a little bit more wide, like that. See how wide it is? It look tight. Wide. You just gotta play with it, you know what I'm saying? Once you learn, hold R2, flick up. You don't have to let go of R2 at all for this. You don't have to let go of R2 for at all. All I'm doing is holding R2 the whole time, flicking my right stick up, and once he goes up a little bit, flick my right stick back down. Right stick up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Right stick up, left stick down, right stick up, left stick down, right stick up, left stick down. And both of these are just flicking. I'm just flicking. I'm not holding anything but R2. Right up, left down, right up, left down, right up, left down, right up, left down. You know what I'm saying? That's the little whoop thing. And you can shoot off this. You can shoot off this. Simple. You know what I'm saying? All right, this next move right here. Um, I don't know when it came. It maybe came in 22, but it's called a misdirection. I'm going to teach you all how to do the front one and the behind the back one. Not the misdirection like where people was like that. The little crossover misdirection. We're not talking about that bullshit. We're talking about like this right here and this one right here. I'm going to teach you how to do both of them. It's another one. It's actually another one that I'm going to teach you in this video too. I call it the side hop, but it's going to be a little later in the video. I'm not going to teach you it with the drill moves. I'm going to teach you how to do the front one, then the behind the back one, then I'm going to make um, I'm gonna get to the side hop. I'm gonna all do them in individually, but I'm gonna teach you all in this video. All right, so pay attention for these moves or really hear what I'm saying. All right, boom. Hold R2, right? Gotta be holding R2. This the, this the, um, the front misdirection first. We're doing the front one. Hold R2, flick your right stick up to the left and flick your left stick up to the right if the ball is in the right hand right flick hold R2 flick the right stick up to the left and the left stick up to the right like a X but going up so boom boom that's this is how it will look and that's a little misdirection you can you can let it play out then speed boost off of it you can speed boost off of it off rip you can spam it put into your combos you know what i'm saying simple shit but let's i right, said the ball is in the uh, left hand it's the opposite keep holding r2 for these misdirections moves, you have to hold R2. The only one you don't have to hold R2 for is the side hop. But for the front and back, you have to hold R2. So, same thing. Right stick, up to the right. Left stick, up to the left. Or, did I get that wrong? Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, yes. 
So basically you're just doing the opposite, but you're still making like you're just doing the opposite. Now now you're making like a um a big ass U or something. Flick your uh the ball in the left hand, flick your right stick up to the right and left stick up to the left. But you gotta you gotta be doing these moves at the same time. You got I mean you gotta be flicking this shit at the same time. Boom. And how you spam it. How you spam it. All right, say the ball's in your left. You make the U, then the X. Just think, just think of that in your head. Out, in, out, in, U, X, U, X. So like, right up, left up. I know it sounds easier than, it's gonna be easier cause I'm already knowing how to do it. I'm telling you these moves are not that, it's not hard at all. It, it looks easy cause I'm already knowing what I'm doing. Obviously, but right stick up to the um, right stick up to the left, left stick up to the right, then left stick up to the um, right, right stick up to the no, my bad, left stick up to the left, and right stick up to the right. Yeah, see, boom, 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 boom. speed boost off this shit. saying all that shit yeah that's the front um which direction but this spamming it just the U just remember the U and the X alright I'm gonna teach you how to do it behind the back now alright for the behind the back which direction alright this this how it will look this how the um behind the back which direction looks My bad. Hold on. That move right there. That little hop. You know what I'm saying? This is how it looks spam too. You know what I'm saying? But for this move, it's basically the same thing, but you point it downwards. It's the same thing, but point it downwards. Hold R2. Get your right stick, flick it down to the left, and get your left stick, flick it down to the right. Boom. Ball's in the left hand. Flick your um left stick down to the left, flick your right stick down to the right. X U same thing. Well now you well you flicking both of them down so what you call this shit like a I mean like a, a down a upside down V or something and an X like X V but you gotta be really precise with it. With the misdirections you gotta be really precise or it's gonna make you just do like a fucking behind the back like that like you really gotta be in like you really gotta go into the left into the right like you really gotta go like vertical type of shit you know what I'm saying you can't like half ass go straight down or like be wonky with it you know what I'm saying but that's the uh behind the back misdirection it's basically the same thing but you just point it downwards. I'm gonna see you get to the next move, you know what I'm saying? All right, for this next move, it's somewhat like a misdirection, but I call it like a little side hop. It's not a misdirection, but it's somewhat is, you know? I'm just gonna teach you how to look. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how to look. That's the move right there. Boom. That's the move right there. That little side hop. You know what I'm saying? Teach y'all how to do that move. So, for that little side hop, 
what you want to do is you don't have to hold anything. You don't have to hold R2. You don't have to hold R2 for this side hop move. All you have to do is set the ball is in your right hand. Flick your right stick to the right and your left stick to the left. Wait, do it right then left, but do it fast, like right, left, right, left. Ball's in the left hand. Flick the right stick to the left, left stick to the right, left, right, right, left, left, right. It's easy, easy moves, easy, easy moves, easy, easy moves. Look, right, left. Left, right. Oh shit, I'm fucking up. I'm ass. But you get it. Right, left, left, right. And you can um, you can uh implement them into the misdirections like. My bad, I'm a little rusty, but you you get it. You know what I'm saying. You can just combo with all them shits, you know what I'm saying? Easy. I'm going to uh, get into the next move, though. Alright, this next move right here. I don't really know what to call it, but I just call it like a little moon glide and shit. I'm show you how it looks right now. Alright, there you probably, you might have seen people do it gives you different animations certain times depending on where how my bad depending wherever and however you flick your right stick like if you flick if you do that and you flick it a little bit in to the right like if you do it as like a behind if you do it as like a between the legs cross between the legs or you could do flick it both up you get the crossover it's only between the uh, crossover and the behind the back though you can't do it, um, I mean, the crossover in between the legs. You can't do it behind the back. And the way you do this move is hold R2. You have to be holding R2 the whole time. And flick your right stick up to the right, then up to the left. Boom. If you flick it up to the right, then straight to the left, or up to the right, straight to the um, right, it'll give you the between the legs. Right after, see? Between the legs. Mm. Cross. Cross. Between the legs. I'm saying. You can do double between the legs also. If you flick both of them left and right. Just left and right, see? Like in, out. In, out. It's a little like a little moon glide move. Damn, I'm gonna teach y'all. That moves get that moves get the most stuns in the game too. That move right there, if you have killer combos, you can spam stunning people with just doing this. Just doing this. You can spam stuns. That gets the most stuns in the game. On oh, God it does. That move right there gets the most stuns in the game. But let me get to the next move. Alright, this move right here. This move is basic, but I'm still uh teach y'all how to do it because some people might not know how to do it move right here is the momentum you know, easy easy little momentum um, they changed it within the years but you know it's still easy you don't have to hold R2 but you can if you want and what you want to do is flick set up our the balls in the right hand flick your right stick up and your left stick up to the left Boom. The ball is in the um the ball is in your left hand, flick your right stick up to the right and your left stick up to the right. Yeah. Left stick up to the left, right stick up to the left. So all you gotta do is just flick your um sticks in the both ways. You can hold R2 but you don't have to. Right stick and left stick both up to the left. Then, balls in your left hand, right stick, and 
left stick both up to the right and once you uh, learn that just try to repeat it back and forth up to the left up to the right up to the left up to the right and then you can learn how to spam momentum I can't even do it fucking right I'm fucking doing between the legs but man you get the point I don't fucking spam momentum anymore though. Who fuck spams momentum anyway? But I just had to do the little momentum move. All right, this next move, not really a drill move, but uh, I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it because all these sorry ass niggas, yes, you, you sorry ass niggas always wanna do this shit against me. So now I, um, I use it a little bit. And the move is called walk back. This move takes no fucking skill. I don't care what you say. You're not walking back this fast in real life, but this is a game, so it is what it is. They won't take it out the game. Adapt to it. Simple as that. So this is what you want to do. Say you're running up and you want to do the walk back. You can't walk back by flicking straight down on the left stick. It will give you a slow walk back. See, I'll walk up, flick straight down it'll stop it'll stop before it even walks back or it'll just give you this slow ass walk back what you want to do while you walking back you want to angle it all right boom say i'm running up this way the ball is in the left hand so i have to walk back that way and well not really but i mean you would i would so um Hold your left stick down to the left. You have to do an angle down to the left. So you get a walk back like that. Down to the right. Down to the left. So you don't lose, you don't really lose your momentum. And you can walk back faster. That's how you do it. Down to the left down to the right run up let go down to the left run up let go down to the right run up let go down to the left run up let go down to the right and you can shoot off that shit too look I'm probably gonna miss though cause I'm mass but you get it you get it man you get it, you get it, you get it. All right, this next move I got for y'all is a momentum slide. I'll show you how it looks. That right there. Boom. Momentum, boom. That little momentum slide. You can do it between the legs version too, like that. What you want to do, I already taught you the momentum. Right after your momentum, wait just a tad second and flick up on the right stick. Boom. 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 That's all you got to do. Momentum, flick up. Momentum, flick up. Momentum, flick up. And I'm flicking up on my right stick after I momentum. And for the between the legs one, all you got to do is... um. After you mo say you're going to the um, if you're going to the left side, after you momentum momentum flick to the right. If you're going to the right side, after you momentum flick to the left. See, if I'm going left, right, right, right. And then if I go, if I'm going right, left, left, left. Boom, easy move, momentum slide, get some ankles off this shit, put in your drill moves, combos, you know what I'm saying? Alright, this next move right here, I've been doing in the past 2Ks, and I just like, 
I just fucking remembered the move, so I've now I've been doing it in this game, and I be frying niggas with this move. Like, boy, I ain't met one nigga, one, I haven't met one person that could guard this move yet. And it's so simple. I call it like a little dribble reset, but it's like a walk back, but it's not. So boom, this is what you wanna do. All you need is L2 and your left stick. All right, boom. Hold your left stick straight back and flick and um, click L2. Hold your left stick back, click L2. See that? See them between the legs I'm doing? I'm not, I'm not touching nothing. That's just off me clicking L2. I'm not, I haven't touched not one button after I clicked L2. And it's, it gives you different animations. It's not gonna give you the same animation every time. It might, but there, there is different, and there is different um, between the legs animations. So hold left, hold the left stick straight down. Oh wait, while you are doing it, you have, you have to keep holding the left stick though, but you don't have to touch, you don't have to touch no buttons. Only thing you're holding is the left stick after you click L2. That's the only thing you're doing is holding it down. So hold L2 down, I mean hold the left stick down, click L2, and I'm still holding the left stick down. That's all I'm doing is holding the left stick down. This is the animation playing out. I'll do it again. Doesn't matter what ball, uh, doesn't matter what hand the ball is in. Hold down on the left stick, click L2. This is what I do with it. So boom. Say I don't have that much adrenaline or stamina or something. Say he clamping me up. He clamped me. Boom. I'm right here. I hit him with one of these. Hold on. I hit him with one of these. He clamping me. Every time. I haven't met one nigga that can stop me off that shit yet. Not one. Now, now y'all getting this sauce. Y'all getting this sauce. Y'all getting the real nigga sauce. Look, you have to, you have to look, you have to look where he, where he's putting the ball, right where he's put the ball, right. Like say he put the ball in between, right when he put it in the left side. Run, cause boom, he he gonna be following you coming back. He might try to get a steal. You know, every time I haven't met a nigga that can that can guard me off that shit. That's a little easy move. All you have to do is just see right when he puts it in, right when he puts it in between the legs, and that shit is free every time. Free rim run, every time, every t every every single time. Man. All right, this next move. It's like I don't really know what to call it, but it's like a little bit. It's not the little between the legs spam up the court, but you. It's like you going up the court, doing the between the legs, but you protecting the ball. Like it's like a you protecting the ball while going up the court, and it's kind of flashy at the same time. So all you have to do is the same. It's the same way, but we're doing it forward. Hold um. Well, I think you gotta keep holding L2 though, but hold the left stick up and hold L2, boom. Hold the left stick up and hold L2. That's the first thing, right? That's, that's what you wanna do first. Hold L2 and hold the left stick straight up. All right, boom, that's what, that's what we're mainly doing. All right, now right after you do that, you wanna start, keep holding L2, but you wanna start moving your left stick up to the left, up to the right, slowly. So you can um, you have you you can tell the timing with your player to move your your, your stick left and right upwards, but that's gonna basically sh um, show you how to do it between the legs. So boom, left, right, left, right, left, right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm protecting the ball going up the court, but it's like like flash at the same time. Look, hold on, fucked up. Left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. See, easy shit, easy shit. This me doing it backwards. I wonder if I can do it backwards into forwards. 
<laughs> I can. You know what I'm saying? Easy move for y'all. You want to come up to court? All you have to do, left stick straight up. Hold L2. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. I'm still holding. I'm still holding the left stick up, and I'm still. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not holding the left stick up because I'm moving it upwards, left and upwards, right. But I'm still holding. I'm still holding L. T L T L two whatever you use. Still holding L two, but I'm moving my left stick up right and up left. That's all I'm doing. All right, so for this move right here, uh, I don't really do this move that often, but I'm I'm starting to start incorporating it to my moves and shit, cause you know I wanna become one of the hardest niggas to guard. Start doing like all type of weird shit. But this move is um, a hop step. You shot. It's good for you shot critters. If you don't shot critters, don't know how to do it. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. It don't matter if you're a shot critter or not. Anybody can do it. All you have to do. All right. Say you're running. Say you're running right. Hold R2 and flick your right stick down right. But. Flick it, but hold it just a little bit. But don't hold it too much to where it makes you shoot. Because if you hold it too much, you will shoot. See, if you hold it too much. Well, I'm not trying to shoot, but if I hold it too much, it's going to put me into a shot. We don't want to shoot. Well, if you, want, if you want to take the shot, take the shot. But if you want to just do a hop step, just hold it for like 1.5 seconds. Like, boom, 1.5, let go. Like, right when you see him jump, let go right when you see him jump for the hop step let go of the right stick that's so you don't shoot but if you want to shoot just shoot right when he flicks his wrist or whatever time you have on because i have on a very late time and i don't know if that shit is different for y'all i don't you know what I'm saying? i don't know but this is how you do hop steps the big hop step preferably while you running right flick the right stick down to the right while holding r2 and while you're running left Stick the um, left stick down to the left while holding R2. Like hold it for like 1.5. That's if you just want to do it, and if not, shoot off of it. Simple. All right, the next move right here. Very, very, very easy. Very easy. All this move is, is a simple snatch back. Just in case y'all don't know how to do it, I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a snatch back. Say the ball's in your right hand. You don't have to hold R2. I'm just comfortable with holding R2, I guess. Um, Flick your left stick, I mean flick your, yeah, flick your left stick down and your right stick up. But uh, yeah, do the right stick first. I don't even know if you have to wait yeah yeah hold R2 flick the right you don't have to hold R2 you don't have to hold R2 but I am um, flick the right stick up and the left stick down right down well yeah right up left down and it's the same way for both sides you don't have to um you don't have to flick the left stick uh like up then the right stick down or some shit no keep flicking the right stick up and the left down right down left up i mean right up left down holy shit my bad my bad my bad right up right up right stick up left stick down right stick up left stick down right stick up left stick down you could probably hear me flicking the right stick right before the left type shit like and you get it man snatch back is not hard all right for this last move i'm gonna teach you uh teach you a move that takes no skill and we call it stop and go we all love stop and go right this is stop and go. And all you have to do for this move, 
I'm teach you two ways to do it. The way I'm doing it right now, all I'm doing is literally running, let go of everything, run again. Like this is this is what skills on this game: running, letting go, run again. Yep. That's what's comp. That's what they, that's that's what's comp. <laughs> that's comp on this game, I guess. But um, another way you can do it, but you have to be like moving upwards, like moving going up the court while you run up the court, up left, up right. Click L2, and this version of um, stop and go is like way more glitchy, jerky, or like the screen jerks type shit. Like you just do this, boom. Like, see that? It just, just like whoever gets to step off. But when you do it like this, it looks like it's like it's more, it's like it's glitchier. See? Like it's glitchier. Uh. Spin back from hell. But yeah, run up the court, click L2. That's all you gotta do. Click L2, click L2, boom. Click L2, boom. You know what I'm saying? That's basically the stop and go, you know what I'm saying? That shit is no skill, that shit is easy. Yeah, that's the. Uh, Dribble tutorial for y'all boys. 600 subs on the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I appreciate everybody. Thank everybody, you know what I'm saying? We going up. My bad for the delay, but it's all good. Love everybody. I'm out.